The night was like no other night, for a light was coming into the world. It was the light foretold by St. John, the forerunner. John was not the light, but he came to testify the light. And as time drew near, a star was rising in the east, pointing to the place where the light would come into the world as a baby, Jesus God with us. And so today, as the days of old, let us follow that star and celebrate the light that pierced the darkness and still shines among us. After Mary was engaged to Joseph, she found to be pregnant from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, was a kind man and did not wish to expose her to public disgrace. So he planned to dismiss her quietly. But an angel appeared to him in a dream and said, Do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he is come to save his people. And Joseph did as the angel commanded. <laughs> Jesus, her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth and lay him in the manger, because there was no other place for him at the inn.
In the Judea hills, shepherds kept watch over their flocks of sheep by night. An angel of the Lord came before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy for all people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior is born, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find him wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly the angel was joined by a whole host of angels, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to all God's people. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Wise ones from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who is born king of the Jews? For he saw his star rising at the east and wanted him to see. When King Herod heard king of the Jews, he was frightened, for he was king of the Jews, and inquired of them, Where is this Messiah to be born? And when they told him, Bethlehem of Judea, Herod resolved to find this Messiah and kill him. He did not tell the wise ones, but sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so I may go and pay my respects. <laughs>
When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. Upon entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, and they knelt down and praised him. Then they offered him their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they returned to their own country by another road. Joseph heard that Herod was still very afraid of Jesus. So the Holy Family followed the star to Egypt, where they kept Jesus with them until it was safe to return to Nazareth. And so today we give thanks for this one who came to us as a tiny child, to the world made of flesh. For the light still shines in the darkness, and the darkness will not overcome it. Alleluia.